Hello guys and welcome back to some more Let's Play Skyrim uh, Dawnguard Expansion Pack. So yeah, uh, so I'm currently trying to find some uh, things. Uh, sorry for not remembering the name of the things that I'm trying to find. But I guess that's just something we have to live with. But uh, in the last episode, or in the comments more accurately of the last episode, there was a guy who told me in the comments that I should go ahead and look for it in the courtyard. Uh, he also advised me that I should uh, there was a that I could like use a torch in order to make it like shine and or whatever so that I could see it more easily. Um, but uh, I guess uh, do I even have a torch? I did say that right? I actually have the um, oh fucking hell! I actually have the YouTube video right here so I can see. Uh, look for something shiny. Yep. Use a torch to make it glare. Oh, that's fancy use of words there, Mister. Sticks B man. Oh, it's always good when the people in the comments are helping out. Do I even have a? Do we, is it in weapons? Do I? Where do you find torches? Torches seems like the thing that I would usually have, but I never use it, so I guess I don't have it then. Maybe I could find one. They're quite common, usually in caves and stuff. So, but oh well, I don't think I have one. If if you actually saw one in my inventory there and and I didn't see it, then well, sorry. You know. I'm not that good at finding things, but uh, you know that's just how we have to, just something we have to live with. So let's continue the search, search for the things and the stuff, and uh, yeah, I really need to try and remember what that thing was called, but um, I don't know. I feel like that's easier said than done. He uh, said in the courtyards. It has to be somewhere here. I think I've already found one in the courtyard though, so I don't know if he meant that one. If he did, then... Uh, or I kind of... He, I mean, I did... I guess he watched the video, so it would kind of... It would be weird if he advised me to find the one in the courtyard if I already had found the one. Um, yeah, you get the idea. In here, maybe. Oh, is that the... Yep, that is the thing. Okay, sweet. Let's place that here, for example. Oh, something happens. Pointing up there, Very and there is an the entrance. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Fuck yeah! Let me equip some weapons. Crossbow. That sounds fun. Let's go. Sneak in here. Silence. What is back here? Nothing. We would expect them to put something there. When I mean, when there is a place there, then one would kind of think that it is something there. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone a little bit here. There we go. I'm not. I'm not that good of a YouTuber that I, you know, started recording all over again just because I failed a little bit with my microphone. You know, you have to go subscribe to someone else if that's the case. If that's what you want, I mean. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Alright, sounds fair enough. What really? Sounds fair enough? Wow. Sounds fair enough. Fucking grammar. So difficult. English man. Who came up with that shit? And who decided that that was gonna be the international language? Oh, skeletons live. No they're not. They did they're kinda of dead. Some of them anyways. Who's there? That guy's pretty dead. I'm not too feeling. I'm not feeling too good about wasting all my arrows on, or my bolts, that is, on all these skeletons. But, eh, it's fine. I have nothing else to use them on at the moment, anyway. So, I wonder if they're gonna have crossbows in um, Elder Scrolls Online. You know, in just in general, I wonder what weapons they will have over there. Because you know, before uh, Oblivion and stuff, they used to have like a bunch of weapons, like. Um, like they had like throwing knives, if I remember correctly. I, as I've said earlier, or in other videos, I have played, um, I have played Morrowind, but I haven't played very much of it, so my experience is rather limited. But uh, I still, you know, that was one of the first thing I noticed. Yeah, spears, for example, I would love for them to have spears in, because um, I love to use spear in, spears in Morrowind. I use that all the time, mainly just because it was something different, I guess. But it had like this cool function that you could, you could like attack people from a bigger distance. 
Uh, so you could there was this you could like do shit you could you could like if you if you did it properly you could basically like attack without getting attacked yourself, and I love those kinds of strategies where you kill the other guy without taking any damage yourself. Oh hello. Who's there? Okay okay okay. Here's the thing. I think this would be a good place to quick save, but since I do not r perfectly remember how to do that, let's see. Quick saving. Okay, F5 is quick save. Fine, nice. Because you, I don't remember. I don't know if I actually did it or if I just counted this as a fail recording and the result never showed it. But at some point, I think I, I, I quick loaded something when I wanted to quick save. That's kind of frustrating. I don't know if you guys ever saw that though. I don't know if I, you know, had that be a part of um, the video. And <laughs> look, she's like synchronized with me. Vampire party! Whoa! That looks like, I mean, kind of looks like a dance. It's like electric vampire dance. Fuck yeah. Anyways, you did not come here to look at electric vampire dance. You came here to look at, uh, well, God knows what you came here specifically to look at. I would guess my let's play it would be a good, good option. I am running out of bolts. Uh, very much so. So let's go in and do my, my bow instead. I much rather, oh, hello, you're Liv. Oh yeah, you're, you're where? Ooh. Oh, magic door! Where arrows fly through. Well, maybe I can, maybe I can just walk through it. No, I'm not gonna take the risk. I'm just gonna open it the old-fashioned way by lock picking my way in. Okay. Well, that was an very in extremely interesting uh, closet. No. What do you call these kind of things? Weird room with a um... Oh, what is this thing called? Oh my god, why am I so bad at English? Alright, well, that's a dumb question. I don't know exactly why I'm so bad at English, but... That doesn't prevent it from annoying me. So, hey, free potions. I, oh! Yeah, yeah, you're you're bad and Where angry. From? Came from the rock. Are you not paying attention, Serana? Seriously, get your shit together. Oh, what the? Okay. Done. And done. done. Oh shit, I forgot to say that. <laughs> done and done. It's been a Who's couple there? of days now since I recorded. Oh, I oh shit. Skeletons. Go fly. Or fall. That works too. Oh, how the hell do you get in front of me? Done and done, Who's skeleton. There? I'm here. Don't you, you see me? Did you forget them that I'm with you right now? Maybe you're just paying less attention than I am. One of the two. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, uh, ooh, what's over here? No, that's just where the skeleton was. Oh, fucking hell, no, I'm, I'm feeling lazy. You got I'm gonna laugh if that's, like, if that's, like, the one room with, like, all the cool stuff in. Uh, but I have so much cool stuff already, so I don't care to find more. In front of that door! Serana! Not only do you say a bullshit such as done and done, but you also do not know how to pay attention. Come on, kill it! Kill it! Oh, come on, skeleton, you're not that weak. Come on! Come on, skeleton! He's healing faster than you killing him! Gotta do everything yourself. Aye, aye, aye. Give my arrows back, thank you. Ooh, the loot. Oh, hello, skeleton. Goodbye, skeleton. You're dead! Bam. Didn't see that coming, did you? So. So, yeah. Have I been here before? I guess not. Okay. You just got a message on Facebook. But, uh... My Let's Plays are more important than that, so, um... So, yeah. Let's keep playing. Uh, yeah, that guy can take some damage. Let's like destroy him. Oh, look at the skeleton. He's like, oh, oh no, never mind, never mind. But he was like moonwalking or something like that. Like moonwalking forward? Is that a thing now? I'm usually one of those guys who never pay attention to what's cool and what's not cool. I guess I have some basic knowledge, but it's still... You know, 
No, I don't want to sneak. That's pointless. But like, when it comes to pop music and crap like that, I have no idea. So in all like music quizzes and shit, I always fail because I totally don't. I don't know anything about like, uh, like um, you know. In Norway, we call it list pop. That's sort of a um, thing. At least we call it here where I live. I don't know what you what the equivalent of that would be um, in um, English speaking countries or just in general in other places. But I think the majority of my viewers are either Scandinavian or um, English speakers. So, I think the majority are Americans actually. It was, it was it used to be like that, anyways. What did that thing do? Oh, whoa! Don't mind me, gargoyle. I'm just here shooting you. What? That'll teach you? No! You gotta say done and done. Done and done. It's not only done, it's done done and done. It's like double done. Fuck yeah. Oh shit, I'm running out of arrows. That's not good. Did I just, like... Oh yeah, I told they just closed the door again. Wow. Hey, okay, that's not the chain, but I would guess that that's just how... That's just the way to get out, I guess. Wow, sometimes I feel like this game is a little too easy. Like, and I don't think it... it I don't think the problem lies with the, um... Oh, Gargoyle Brute. Oh, oh, let me test something here. Uh, how do I become a vampire again? Powers. Here we go. A guy uh, in the comments also told me how to go up flying again. Oh, here, I'm already flying, okay. Yeah, you click the sneak button and that will basically make you fly. So, yeah. I have no idea what you... I totally didn't pay attention when the guy explained these spells to me. And wow, can I not enter the door? Well, so much for being a vampire lord. Oh, fucking hell, why does it always t put bats as the default form? I want to have revort form as the default. I cannot do it. There we go. Hey! Expert? No, that's a little too much. Any any alternative things to do? Of course you're sure of it. Oh, here, here's an enemy. Let's try it again. Who's there? Vampire Lord, engage! Now, how does these things work? Okay, so this... Oh, is this like a re revive thing? Maybe you have to revive... These bones are maybe not good for reviving, I guess. Oh, shit. So this thing does damage, I think? Kind of, does it? Am I using it wrong? Because it doesn't seem to have much of an effect. Oh, well, yeah, I think that was a little bit. I have no idea. Am I shooting wrong? No, I'm shooting the wrong one. Shit. No. Fuck this shit. That's, um... Yeah, the claws seems to be a lot more efficient. So I'm just gonna keep using them, I guess. Fuck you! <laughs> wow. I think this form, this, you know, you being able to turn into this form right here, it's gotta be the thing I hate the most about the Dawnguard expansion. It's so fucking silly. Like, I like, in... I know, it's, I guess it's like, um... Traditional vampire lore, then this might make sense, but... I don't know, doesn't make, doesn't mean that I will like it. Don't get in my way. But yeah, back to the topic of, like, uh, the game being too easy. As I said, I, I think like the problem is not the fact that you that you know the enemies are too weak or whatever. I think the problem is more about the player, the fact that we are given or like we're giving so much, so many extremely good items so easily. You know, you don't actually have to work very much to gain the awesome items. You know, and you know this game they also introduced smithing, which allows you to make like super overpowered items like really early in the game. So I mean, I, as if the game wasn't broken enough. I, I, of course, it's not broken, but I think it's like, I don't know. I think I, I sort of miss the feeling uh, of like going into a dungeon and wow, I'm getting destroyed here. Oh, not really. Uh, I miss sort of the feeling of that you, you know, going through like in a huge dungeon or cre or like finishing like a really difficult quest and uh, oh hello, and like getting like a super awesome item in the end of it. That doesn't really happen in this game. I feel. Oh shit, he's coming for me, why are you coming for me? 
Simply because you get so many items that it's never really anything special, I feel. Can I revive these guys? Or is this spell used for something different? Oh no, they're too powerful just. Okay. Use this red spell. Hey, that worked. I guess I didn't do much. Serana did the most of the killing part, but, you know, I, I helped. I did my job, I think, maybe. Anyways. I the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around. Of course there's a secret passage. And that's another thing I also found that I've kind of... I don't know if I like about, you know... While I've completely... I co constantly complain about how I feel like uh, like puzzles are too... Too um, easy. No, too difficult. But it, I think like... I feel like Skyrim has that... Uh, Skyrim sometimes is very... Simple. What? What? How do I want to put this? Like, there's nothing. It's very like. What's the opposite of merciless? Ooh, vampire royal armor. Well, fuck yeah. Oh, that's the same armor as um, as Harkon had, isn't it? So I use that. But yeah, I think that it's like things are too um, too just plain and simple. You get your, you get like your. I I was watching a video on this topic about Skyrim. Um. Magica, whoa, that's like this is an example of this. What the hell is that supposed to be? I don't know if it's only me who think that's a little overkill, but it's like I don't know. You you just find you just find these kinds of items completely randomly, like like it's not a big deal or anything. And that's sort of um, I don't know. I don't like it. Kind of removes a little bit of the fun for me, but you know, I still love Skyrim. Still one of the best games that I have played recently, at least. But, um, why am I keeping rotating this thing? Fucking, yeah, look at that. I'm looking badass now, I think. Yeah, it's pretty badass. My head is a little too small, though. <laughs> it's like, I feel like this, cl this, clo this clothes was made for someone a little bit bigger than the Wood Elf. But, oh well. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. Now, you already said that. I don't need to hear it like a million times. Okay, but, uh, yeah. The fact that we're getting close, sure. I think, is a good sign that I should go ahead and end the episode right here. So, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Dawn Guard, Skyrim stuff. I don't, I, I don't even know what, what to say in these outros anymore. You get, you get the idea. Um, so, um, until next time, bye.